So you can see the 1 8 equals 1 foot scale here. Most of the text shows up, but these two pieces here do not. These ones do. So if we select one of these, go to our object scale, add and delete, you can see there is no 1 8 on this one. But if we do that same thing for this one, you can see the 1 8 scale is there. You can just as easily add those back in by simply activating a viewport, clicking this button to show all of the annotative text regardless of the scales, selecting them, add current scale, select it, add current scale. So there you can see that's just a quick kind of refresher on how annotative text scaling works within AutoCAD, but it can be a game changer that is going to save you a ton of time. Now, before we move on to the last few tips here, one of which is going to be a huge time saver for you, I wanted to remind you that if you haven't already, don't forget to check out my AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows course. It's packed full of over two decades of AutoCAD tips, tricks, and workflows, including how to set up title blocks and templates just like this, how annotative text works in detail, as well as setting up XRefs, line types, scales, all of that, including layers and drawing production as well from start to finish, as well as packaging up drawings, creating PDFs and sending them out to clients. Everything you need to know is packed into this course and it's available now at the link up above and down below discounted for viewers such as yourself. So don't forget to check that out and continue learning AutoCAD even faster. All right.